Hey everybody, it's uh, Father Spanky. I'm here with Ella de Kramer, and we are at where are we at? Norris Geysers. Norris Geyser Basin, one of the largest geyser basins in the world. Definitely in Yellowstone. You look behind me, and the sulfur smell is very strong. Goes good with my coffee main path where it starts for the Norris Geyser Basin and the museum, which is closed at the moment. The museum is closed because we're here way early. And there are the restrooms. So they have two parking lots when you pull in here and they have four regular vehicles. And then they have an RV parking area, which is further away, a little bit further over there beyond those trees and the restroom. Got a restroom stop right here and a bookstore. Bookstore's Bookstore's not open. Nothing's really open. The museum's not open. It opens at nine. We're here way early. So it is dangerous ground. You see that little boy there? You don't want to end up like him. You might not make it home. So here's the the trail directions. A 1.6 mile loop, a one mile loop, the steamboat geyser is a quarter mile. Porcelain Basin is 0.6 miles. Here's a metal sign to the Norris Museum entrance. Norris Geyser Basin is named for Philidus Walter Norris, second superintendent of Yellowstone from 1877 to 1882. He recorded this area's hydrothermal features in detail and also oversaw construction of some of the park's first roads, parts of which still remain as the Grand Loop Road. So you don't want to step in the water. The water's acidic, boiling, right? City. Awesome. I don't want to cook your turkey in it. All along right here. You can hear it, it's alive. Just waiting to, it's just waiting to unload. This whole thing is a volcano. We're standing in it. It's a super volcano. I guess Dylan was talking about a story where a guy brought his dog here with his buddy. The dog fell in the water. And his buddy went in to get him. They both uh, boiled alive. One little one up there. It's all the pressure. It's like a, it's like a big steam pot. So Norris guys are basing. They have little sections because it's so big. So this next section we're coming up to is Porcelain Basin. There's the map. Here's Porcelain Basin here. I guess that's where we are, or you are here. So we're on our way to that area. I think the path is like, they have different paths. They have a short quarter mile path, like a half mile path, and then like a little over a mile and a half. I think we're doing that one, so we're checking it all out. Look at that water. Norris Campground, one mile. But they used to have a campground over here? I, I guess you can't walk that way anymore. This used to be a, a trail. Now it's blocked with water. I don't know if because they had a lot of, a lot of rain this year or snow. Look at that. Amazing nature. Yellowstone. That is cool. So this is all from the crazy lava that's flowing underneath this area, creating all this heat from underneath us. 
the super volcano that will erupt one day. Don't know if we'll be here, Sarah, but it will erupt again. And that will be a, that will be a world challenging experience to deal with a volcano erupting this size. I don't think it's happened since humans have been on the earth, supposedly, but we'll find out. Maybe not in our lifetime, but maybe Addy, Dylan, maybe you guys are going to experience a super volcano. You never know. For like a split second. Maybe right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll be, I don't be a while, like before it reaches you. Like in California, if you're in California. Oh yeah, if you're in Montana, that's it. <laughs> Be like Woody Harrelson. You know, Woody Harrelson when he was, what was that movie? Uh, that was 2000, uh, right? Wasn't wow. that the name of it? 2012? 2012. <laughs> he was like the radio guy. Remember, he was the radio guy yeah. here, here in Yellowstone. We have this walking path here. There's no handrails, so you definitely want to stay on this path because if you walk down in that water you're in trouble and i'm wearing burke so if i walk in there I'll probably end up with no feet at least no skin on my feet there's addy back there you having a good time addy it's like 8 30 in the morning we started early addy got a wonderful night's sleep last night did you no Got like three hours of sleep. Three hours? Oh, that's enough. You're young. Look at that. That is cool. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. Looks like the Mexican flag. No, Irish. Irish. Yeah. That is cool. It's like warm in this area. Look at the formation. So they name each geyser Whirligic Geyser. And here's Pinwheel Geyser. There's another block out there with the name of it. I don't know where it is exactly, but there's a bunch of geysers out here. It's crazy how this looks strange flow, but I bet there's like little geysers in the area that like people are coming. This one's called Well's Mouth. Wonder how deep that thing goes. That's probably where the dog went. It's probably down in there. Addy, jump in and tell us. <laughs> I mean, that's not boiling, but it's. What do you think? Do you not see the steam? Well, I know, boiling but boiling would mean like you're seeing bubbling. the bubbles come up. Well, oh, there are. Oh, there's a bubble. I just saw one. There's so much liquid in there. Well, it's it probably could be. so deep that yeah. like it cools off towards the top. But it really yeah. I wonder how deep that is. Like a couple hundred degrees. <laughs> could be pretty deep too. So it does get crowded here, especially during the summer. And today we're trying to stay ahead of the uh, the bus tours. They have huge bus tours. And uh, we got here early, so we're right ahead of these tours. They're, uh, they're just now getting here, so we're leaving. Checking out this bunny. Man, that is a fat bunny there. Look at this guy. Be safe, Bunny. Don't let those wolves get you. Yeah, don't trust those. Don't trust them. <laughs> That's a pretty bunny there. He's so tiny. 
Yeah. He's used to seeing all the people here. He probably just lives right here. Probably a few predators because of how many people come out here. So if you get here early enough, you can park up here closer to the basin or they have overflow parking down below. So you gotta walk a little further. But today is pretty, it's not very crowded and we got here early. So it's always good to, early bird gets the worm, you know? So we got the worm right here, we got a good spot. There's our RV, we're taking back to my mom that she purchased in Montana. And uh, this is part of our motorhome adventure here, going to Yellowstone. There's Sarah. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah. What do you think about it? About what? <laughs> the basin. Smoky. Thank you guys for watching uh, my little tour of Norris Geyser Basin, which is behind me. Wonderful experience. I highly suggest it. If you come to Yellowstone, make sure you stop at the Norris Geyser Basin. The paths are awesome, beautiful. The smell's strong, but I highly suggest coming here if you are gonna stop at Yellowstone. This was our first time coming here. We didn't come to this stop last time and there's just a lot to do here. So it's hard to see it all in one day for sure. You need at least probably a week, I would say, because uh, Yellowstone is massive. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.